Okay, um, so this is Hadley Murphy, and she is a 17-year-old female standard human that goes to Telluride High School. And um, she presented, well, is presenting currently with nerves, and uh, we're treating her, and she will, should be able to go home in a couple of hours, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so that is how you present an animal to a clinician, and I am Hadley Murphy, like I said, um, and I went to Kansas State University uh, to do veterinary medicine. Um, so I was in Manhattan, Kansas, and because it's not actually Manhattan, it's called the Little Apple, um, and I worked at the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University for six weeks. So during my internship, um, I worked part-time in uh, for three weeks in the small animal um, hospital side of um, Kansas State in Moser Hall. And so I did three weeks of small animal. Um, one of those weeks was spent on surgery. One of, the, um, one of those weeks was spent half on surgery and half on um, exotics. And then the other two weeks were spent just on general small animal medicine. And then this is the back side of Moser Hall, and that's where um, I did my large animal side, and I did um, half of those three weeks on large animal on equine and half of that on food animal. Um, so during my internship, uh, some of the, um, like some of the general dress code that I was under was uh, that I had to wear scrubs a lot. Um, I got to be present in a lot of surgeries, got to help a lot. Um, lab coat was pretty standard for small animal and we had to wear slacks and um, like a nice shirt so that we could look presentable and this lab coat was obviously too big. I got a new one partway through my internship because one of the students loaned me one instead of my vet professor loaning me one. Um, and then on a uh, large animal we wore khakis or jeans and polos. Um, so here are some of the machines that I worked with during the course of my internship, and um, I got to do a lot of different things on small and large animal, working with blood, working with different animals, working with all kinds of the different um, organ systems and everything, which was very cool to do. Um, and then some really memorable things were getting to be present present in uh, a lot of surgeries, and um, I actually got to help save an alpaca because um, he needed a blood transfusion, and the oscillator was broken. So if I hadn't sat there oscillating blood for two hours, we probably would have lost that alpaca. <laughs> um, and then also, I got to work with not only real animals but also plastic animals. <laughs> um, so. This uh, horse up here is Beyonce, and she teaches vet students how to do rectal exams and artificial insemination. And so the vet uh, professors can see inside of Beyonce and all of her organs and everything and make sure that you're finding the right things. Um, and then this cow didn't have a name because the food animal, animal people weren't as fun about that. But um, we got to practice uh, calf pulling with this plastic cow. So you put the calf, the pl plastic calf inside the plastic cow and you get to like hook chains around it and calf pull, which was cool. Um, this is Jellybean. Um, she is a polydactyl cat. And the cool thing about her is that um, uh, Ernest Hemingway, the author, actually had um, an infatuation with uh, polydactyl cats. So um, in his museum, they, had, um, they have a bunch of different polydactyl cats that are actually related to his original cats, which is really cool. Um, and then this was probably the coolest part of my internship. I got to work on a tiger from the zoo. Um, this is Malik, and he came in and needed a liver biopsy. Um, so this is us prepping him for surgery, and um, during his surgery, he actually coded twice. His heart stopped beating for almost 22 minutes, um, at, like, all together. There were two separate times, and uh, so they had to switch out people three times, and it took us 15 minutes the first time to get his heart beating again, and then the rest of that time to get his heart beating the second time because he, we got him back and his heart, hop, heart stopped beating again. So um, it was really cool to work with him. And as far as I know, I mean, he's still alive and well and doesn't have any brain deficits or anything like that. So that was really cool. Um, my advice to future pinterns, ask questions. Make sure to ask questions because 
I spent so much time with medical terms just flying right over my head, and I spent hours every night Googling terms, trying to figure out what they mean. So um, make sure to ask questions when you have time. Take every opportunity presented. Some of the coolest surgeries that I saw were actually after hours at the vet school. Um, so if I hadn't taken that opportunity and decided to stay home after dinner or whatever and not go back to the vet school, I wouldn't have gotten to see some of the coolest surgeries that I saw. Um, learn everything you can. And it's an amazing experience, so take advantage. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Pinhead, um, specifically Sarah, and I'd like to say thank you to all my vet professors that I worked with. There were like 16 of them, and uh, specifically Dan Thompson. And then I'd like to say thank you to my host sister and my family. So yeah. Yay. <laughs>